Back in the summer of 2022, my husband Jay and I purchased an 18-foot 1971 Airstream for $9,500. We've turned a school bus into our first home, then a Ford Transit van into our second home, but this time we wanted to try something completely different. It became clear early on this would be our biggest challenge yet. The outside was dented, rusted, missing letters and lights. The inside was even worse off though. The floor was completely rotted and it felt like things were coming back from the grave to warn us to turn back. <gasps> we already have guests. No. I'm a little bit disturbed by that, not gonna lie. But we didn't listen to those warnings. We saw potential in this old little rusty can. You excited, Jay? I'm excited. We were determined to turn it into our next home, no matter how hard it got. Oh. Two weeks into the build, we found ourselves a warehouse to rent. We'd be using this space to finish the Airstream and to start a van building company. Having a space like this to build was a dream of Jay's four years in the making.
disgusting. We're about a month into our build and from the outside things seem to be going well. But underneath the surface with the new business came new responsibilities and new bills. And we found ourselves quickly running out of money. We had to take a break from the Airstream to focus more on our business. Things with the business quickly took a turn for the worst. Jay was working too long of hours and got so badly burned he found himself in the hospital. Everything was starting to weigh heavily on us. Oh, stressful. Running your own business and just not knowing what's gonna happen. And if you're gonna be able to like make rent. And... But we fought through those struggles and van by van, we slowly started to find our way. This is freaking awesome. What just happened, Jay? I think we just sold the Sprint to that. Let's get the champagne out! It's 9.30 a.m. Woo! The last piece to go in. Woo! Three van builds, and six months later, we finally had enough money saved up to finish the Airstream. And this time, we weren't gonna let anything stand in our way. On to the next one. Yep. Which is ours! Woo! <laughs> Put it on the wrong way round. 
gonna take off and spit, right? Oh, this is fun. This is what it means to fall in love. I like it.
As we started to see the finish line and neared in at the end of our build, we were reminded of all the struggles that had led us up to that point. We took a huge risk by taking on this Airstream. We've never restored anything like it before. And there were multiple times throughout the build where we wanted to quit, but we didn't. I'm an artist and I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I don't care what anyone else says. Taking a risk is always scary, no matter what it is. The unknown outcome is what can leave you paralyzed with fear. But if you continue to fight through the unknown and embrace the challenge that lies before you, I think you'll find yourself in a place of joy greater than anything you could have ever imagined up in your head. Play, cause life is still a mystery.